Hi everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to this program. Today we are going to enjoy this class. This program is Vamos para la Universidad. Un saludo muy especial para cada uno de ustedes allá, para los profesores, para los estudiantes y un saludo muy especial para la institución educativa Emiliano García de Girardota and the teacher Gabriel Antonio Zapata. So, today we are going to show some of their videos, some of their works, right? So, welcome and remember this is English one and today remember the name of this week is My Places. Remember that we are trying to cover an extra week during this week and the next week. So, uh, we are going to work really hard. We know that you are about to finish and or you already finished, but please try to finish this course properly. So, I hope that you can do it. Los objetivos para esta semana son incorporar el vocabulario sobre preposiciones de lugar y movimiento. Describir el propio entorno. Dar instrucciones para llegar a un lugar. Invitar a alguien a un lugar para realizar una actividad. So, I think the most important aim for this week or for this, for today is dar instrucciones para llegar a un lugar. So, Ed, we are going to imagine in some moment here that you are a tourist, you are a foreigner, that you are not from here or you are from another town and you are looking for a new thing. What is the best way to get? Nowadays, ICT or information and communication technologies or uh, like technology, like the GPS, help you a lot. However, we still have some maps. Are you good at walking with maps? Are you good at understanding maps? For me, it's kind of difficult. I have to, I have to know first of all the place to understand a map. If I see a map, I don't understand it if I am not in the place, right? But some people are really good at understanding them. So now we are going to discuss and you are going to let me know in the chat. I'm going to read some of your answers and some of your comments. Have you ever got lost? ¿Alguna vez se han perdido? In a different town, for example, when you go to another town, when you come to Medellín, when you go to Bogotá. Eh, how do you find your way in the city? I have... I have gotten lost, even here in Colombia. I have gone to Bogota and I have asked for extra information. I didn't have a map in my, in my hand, like the girl here, I didn't have it. However, I asked for additional information. People from Bogota, they have been very nice with me. Some people say, no, they don't like giving additional information, direction, locations, but they have been really nice with me. And how do I find the way? How do, I, how do you find your way in the city? I ask for additional information. Uh, no, you haven't gotten lost. So, uh, for some people over here say, no, you haven't gotten lost. Uh, Simona Duque dice, once I got lost in Rio Negro when I was going to the hospital. And how do you find a way in the city? Or how do you find a way to go to the hospital? Very good. Simona Duque, Victor Gomez. Welcome. Institución Educativa San Miguel. No, you haven't gotten lost. Aura Maria, yes. Institución Educativa Simona Duque. The bus, the bus driver gave me the instructions. Right? GPS. Now, GPS. I ask a taxi driver to take me there, right? It's a very, that's a very good strategy when you don't know a place, but you don't have to, you don't have enough money to pay a taxi. You ask a taxi driver who is over there uh, how to get to that place. And that's really important, right? Uh, my mother, my mother lived for a long time in Costa Rica and you know, uh, when she was young and she said that many people or even men wanted to talk to her. So what she said that in el, en el bus ella se hacía la dormida and so many people and she said to the bus driver, eh, excuse me, eh, can you tell me where the Ann Square is? Eh, 
me, 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 me dice cuando haya llegado a tal lugar, pero ella ya sabía. So, it's because she wanted to sleep and she asked for additional information. Like, we have a different accent when we go to another country. So, uh, some people want to help. Uh, so, hey, very good for those answers. Uh, have you ever, have you ever helped someone who, who is lost? ¿Alguna vez, alguna vez le ha tocado ayudarle a alguien que se haya perdido? Hay personas that they don't make the correct things in life y los, antes los hacen perder más. Pues les dicen lo que no es. Pero alguna vez les ha tocado ayudar a algún extranjero we, or algunas personas de otra ciudad who is coming to our city and they are asking, hey, do you know where Rio Negro is or do you know where Marinilla is? I'm, I'm going to Marinilla, I'm going to Toledo. How, how can I get to Toledo, right? So, eh, while if you want, you can answer here. I'm going to show you one of our videos. It's about Simon, Simon in Spanish, and he got lost. You are going to pay attention because in a moment we are going to answer those questions. What is he looking for? Does he know how to help him? Does she know how to help him? Does she give the right answers? What happens with the boy? What does she decide at the end? Entonces vamos a tratar, van a mirar esas preguntas y van a enfocar el video en eso. A ver qué me pueden responder enseguida. Entonces, we are going to watch the video now. Hi, um, can you help me? Yes, of course. Uh, I'm new at the university. Could you tell me where the registrar's office is? Um, oh yes, it is in front of the central square. Um, how can I get there? Uh, walk three blocks to the museum, then turn right to the corner, then turn left to the other corner. It is opposite the central square. Oh, I walk two blocks, and then turn left to the other block. No, you walk three blocks and turn right. And then I turn right. No, turn left. Oh, yes, it is behind the central square. <laughs> you know what? I take you there. Thank you. Uh. Do you watch it? So, what is he looking for? What is Simon looking for? Yes, okay. He's looking for the post office. Very good. Simona, okay. Does, does she know how to help him? Does she know how to help him? Ella sabe cómo ayudarle. Because he is a new student at the university, he usually happens at the very beginning. Uh, when you are primiparo, but I, it happens with everyone. I was primiparo once in my life. In my life, it was in my first day at the university. I was kind of nervous, and when I needed to look for a new place, and I said, "Oh my God, what should I do? Should I ask? Everybody's going to realize I am primiparo, but it doesn't matter. You have to experience." Uh, yeah, does she give the right answer? Ella le dio la respuesta correcta. What do you think? I used to remember her, her direction or her direction, right? Some people say directions or some other people say directions. Uh, she gave him the right answer. Very good, Aura Mariana, students. He's looking for the register's office. Yeah, he's not the post office, the register's offices. The register's offices. Very good, Institución Catia San Miguel. So, walk three blocks. No, he's not looking for that, J. Emilio Valderrama. He's not really looking for that, but thank you very much for your answer. What happens with the boy? What happens? What does she decide? What does she decide at the end? 
¿Qué decide ya al final? Wow. Ya, ya, eres. Es. He gets lost, so he didn't understand her instructions or directions. That's it. Very good. He is very lost, J. Emilio Alderrama. She decides, J. Institucional Catea Simonadoca. She decides to take him there. Very good. She, decide, she decided to take him there. Very good. So, how to give instructions? Muy bien. ¿Cómo dar instrucciones? Aura María. Very good. Entonces, hay varias. Aquí vamos a ver algunas, algunas eh, instrucciones que les voy a mostrar. La primera es, eh, podemos utilizar el verbo walk. El verbo go o el verbo drive drive if you are driving right go or walk if you are if you are not driving so go y aquí ya el número de cuadras go three blocks go three blocks or go two blocks para voltear utilizamos el verbo turn 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 left para voltear a la izquierda o turn, turn right para buscar, para voltear a la, dere a la derecha. Right tiene dos, dos significados, derecha, derecha o correcto. Entonces dicen que el baño de las mujeres siempre queda a la derecha because women are always right. Right? If you discuss with a woman, You lost your time, right? They are always right. And men to the left, women to the right. So uh, it's better to avoid those kind of discussions. If you start discussing with me, you are right. You are right. Don't worry, my dear colleagues, my dear teachers, and my dear student. So go ahead. It's another one. Very good. Institución uh, San Miguel. She's helped him how to get to that place. Very good. Aura María. Go ahead. It's, go ahead. También hay otra que ya habíamos visto que también es para el cabello. Sigue derecho. Go. Go. A ver quién se acuerda. Go. Straight. Go straight. Very good. She always is helping him, him. Very good. Straight. Very good, Aura María. O también al derrama. Go straight. Entonces, turn left, turn right. Cuando uno está en un taxi y de pronto lo está llevando, uno también puede decir make a left, make a left, or make a right. Como hace una vez a la derecha, una vez a la izquierda. Uh, it's kind of um, different. For example, in, in Australia, you know, Uh, here we drive in the right in the right uh, side in Australia. They drive in the left side. I didn't want to drive there because I didn't want to have an accident. Because I am used to drive here by the right side, but there it has to be with the with the left side. So uh, she knows how to arrive there. Yeah, she has been. Uh, attending classes at the university. Maybe she has more experience. Now, that's why he was the first time at the university. He said, I'm new here. So, and you know, at the very beginning, the university, it's like a universe. University, universe. Because you find everything, right? Hey, thank you very much with, for your answer. So, here, I'm sorry, I'm lost. This is kind of the map of the university. This is the central the central square, which is like the library, which is the library. So they were here, and you know, look at the instructions or directions. Go straight three blocks. Go straight three blocks. Or walk three blocks. Or go ahead three blocks. Entonces aquí que camine tres cuadras derecha, they were here. Then, then, luego then, turn right, one block, then turn left, Voltea a la derecha, luego a la izquierda. And this is opposite, diagonal, opuesto to the central square. It was the, the, like the instruction. Walk three blocks to the, then turn right to the corner. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of lost with this instruction. Uh, then turn right to the corner. 
Uh, is it the correct answer? I don't know. Simona Duque, maybe. Thank you very much for your participation. You know something? I'm not very good with this. When someone says to me, please go ahead, four blocks, that's in the first traffic light, uh, make a right or turn right, then turn, turn left. You know what I have to do? When I get to the traffic light, I have to ask again. Me dicen todo eso cuando me dan muchas instrucciones. Lo mejor es cuando llegue algo que ya me habían dicho volver a preguntar. Because I don't want to get lost, right? Uh, so, this is like the map of the university. You know, sometimes when you are, for example, in an airplane or when you are even in the metro system and you see the university, like the map of the university, like so from an upper side, I feel proud of this university. I love this university. And I defend this university because it's my university. It's like my life. And I love it because I am graduated from here. I work for this university. And most of the people who attend classes here, we love pub this public university. So maybe someday, maybe you are going to have the opportunity of being here. So now what we are going to do yeah, the University of Antioquia is really big, right? It's beautiful, right? Now, we are going to watch this video. It's a little bit longer. Le voy a pedir el favor que tengan allá con que tomar noticas, porque van a tomar nota primero. Van a mencionar sobre todo locations and directions. También van a mencionar una que otra preposition of place que vimos la clase previa. Entonces, vamos a ver y vamos a prestar mucha atención eh, porque Fernando is lost here in Medellín. And we are going to look at the pictures and then we are going to compare the, some, some instructions that we have here. So, pay attention and please try to take notes, right, with your pen, your pencil and your English notebook. Now, uh, I'm going to play the video. It doesn't have sound. Este video no tiene sonido. Para que negan, no se escucha, no se escucha. No tiene sonido. I can go, I am, I can talk and I can read some of the things they say. Right? So, go ahead. We are going to go ahead. Is this one? It's around the corner. A la vuelta de la esquina. It's around the corner. It's across the street. It's down the street. The bank. It's next to the bank. Something is next to the bank. It's on the left. It's on the left. It's on the right. Está sobre la derecha, sobre la izquierda. What is the first national bank? There are many answers. It is next to the post office. It is next to the post office. It is in front of the King Plaza Hotel. Is next to or across from, in front of, look. What is the gas station? It's bookstore. It's next to the bookstore and across from the bank. It is on the corner of the Central Avenue and Main. So now you have the opportunity of answering your mind. I'm going to be quiet and you can do it. What is the subway station? You only have to complete in your mind. And then it gives you the answer. Go straight, turn left, turn right.
go to the corner and turn left. Go to blocks and turn left. Even if you are in the car, drive. You can use drive. How do I get to the police station? So, you can give the answer. Go to blocks. Turn right. Go one block. It's on the right. Go to blocks, turn right, go on one block, it's on the right. Across from the department store. How do I get to Donald's store? If you are here, in the same place. Go to the corner. Turn right. Go two blocks. It's on the corner of the state and in the third avenue. La idea es que ustedes lo vayan diciendo antes de que yo lo diga, ¿cierto? Que se puedan aproximar. How do I get to the Fox store? Go to the corner or go one block. Turn right. It's on the left. Está sobre la izquierda. It's on the left. Next to the school. How do I get to Frank's grocery store? Look where you are. Now it's a different position. Go to blocks or go straight to blocks. It's possible to say like that. Turn left. It's on your left. Across from the train station or in front of the train station. Circle the correct word. Is she our friend Paula? They are my colleagues. Miss Morales is my teacher. I am. I think we can stop here. We can stop because the most important thing was with prepositions. Right? So, I'm going to stop here. Uh, okay. Uh, I know you wanted to continue. Very good. Institucional Katia F. Gomez. Welcome. I no los había saludado. I, ha I hadn't said hello to you. Right. Hey, now that you have like some experience, now we are going. You are going to help me. Si quieren, eh, ustedes pueden ir allá y pueden. Eh, lo que pueden hacer es que abran aula virtual and you are going to look actividad de comprensión de la semana 2 and this activity. Could you could you tell me how to get to the church? Entonces, teniendo en cuenta eso, van a abrir esta actividad y me van a ayudar. Yo voy a ir Con unos pantallazos que hicimos, voy a ir mostrando la primera. Si quiere, van ingresando, and I am going to help you with the first one. So, this is like a map. This is a map, and here uh, we have some, the name of some places and the name of some streets. So, maps are like that. Maps are really like that. Las, los mapas son así. So, they are really little, and sometimes you don't know where even where you are. Algunas veces, incluso en los centros comerciales o en los en big parks, le muestran a uno, you are here. Y yo soy, eh, but I can see it, the, like, the places where I am. So, so for example, here, acá, en este, vamos a partir todos mientras van ingresando y miren dónde estamos. Porque todo van a ayudar. We are here. We are here. 
La primera pregunta, y para poder responder esa pregunta, tenemos que ver las, las opciones que tenemos y la respuesta. Nos tenemos que basar las respuestas. Do you know where? Tú sabes dónde. Y van a preguntar por un lugar. Ahora miremos la respuesta. Sure, there is a good restaurant on Plaza Cisneros. Entonces, el, el que pregunta hace más o menos la siguiente pregunta. ¿Usted sabe dónde queda? A ver qué. Y entonces el que le responde dice, seguro. Hay un muy buen restaurante en la Plaza Cisneros. ¿Por qué estará preguntando? ¿Por qué lugar estará preguntando él? De pronto por allá, el que sepa. Right, very good. Do you know where I can have lunch? There are more, more answers as well. There are more answers. Do you know where I can have lunch? Is it one of, for example, it could be an, an additional word. One. Do you know where I... I can find a good restaurant, but it depends on the options that we have, right? So, I mean, there are many different answers, but here in this case, it depending on the, on, the, on the options. So, Alan Caution, students, very good work. Do you know where I, can have, where I can have lunch? This is, so. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Vamos a mirarla. Here we have the answer. The, do you know where I can have lunch? Sure, there is a good restaurant on Plaza Cisneros. What is that? Entonces, aquí estamos nosotros. We are here. You, we are here. This is, you can see, like a person there. And you know, the answer is, what is the answer? It's on San Juan Street. I can see it very well, but I guess, I think it's here. It's here, but I don't know. I don't know the Calle San, San Juan, I guess. I think I'm going to wear my glasses to do it. Some something, right? Yes, I'm, 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 I can see really well, but you know, sometimes I need some extra help. So here we have the San Juan Street is near La Alpujarra. Very good. So we have here, it's on San Juan Street. It's on San Juan Street. Sin son. In front of, in front of La Alpujarra. In front of La Alpujarra. Uh, do you know this place where I'm talking? Más o menos conocen de lo que les estoy hablando, right? No? Uh, So, uh, Ness, how can I get there? Go ahead to blocks. Entonces, miren, la, miren cómo le dice que, yes, you know this place, very good. Miren cómo le dice cómo llegar hasta allá. Si estamos aquí, necesitamos llegar acá. Go ahead to blocks. Turn right entre dos bloques. One, two. Now we are here. Turn right, que voltea a la derecha. Walk to the corner across the street. Very good. Thanks, no problem. Remember, this is like a conversation, right? Now, we are going to the second one. Do you know where I can? And you are going to help me. Remember that you can go and you can see the options. Ustedes allá que están en aula virtual, eh, la invitación, pues, que estén en aula virtual y le den clic en la flechita y miren las opciones. ¿Y cuál sería la respuesta correcta para esta la, la pregunta correcta para esa respuesta. Sure, you should try biblioteca, empresas públicas. Entonces vamos a mirar qué, por qué está preguntando. Si la respuesta es seguro, puedes intentar ir a la biblioteca pública de empresas públicas. So there are many options. If you don't give me the answer, I'm going to give you the answer. Do you know where I can read a book about Colombian history? Very good. Simona Duque, do you know where I can read a book about, about Colombian history? I can read a book about Colombian history. Sure, you should try to, you should try Biblioteca Empresas Públicas. That's really amazing to go to that place. Where is that? Yo creo que la mayoría... Eh, de jóvenes hoy en día eh, casi nunca visitan las, las bibliotecas, pues por, casi todo lo encontramos en internet, pero hay todavía información muy importante 
que usted encuentra en las bibliotecas. Además, el ambiente de la biblioteca, de la biblioteca it's really amazing to study, to, to review what you have to do, right? Eh, uno aquí en la Antioquia, when you are a student or even at other universities, or even at schools, you become like uh, very, like we say in Spanish, mero ratón de biblioteca, when you are a student here. So, el second, the church is near the public factory. I'm, okay, vamos a ver, J. Emilio Alderrama, voy a leer lo siguiente. What is that? It's on Amador Street in front of, of Plaza Cisneros. Can you tell me the way? Can you tell me the way? Yes. ¿Cuál sería? The church is near the public factory, so, yes, it is. Turn right. Can you tell me the way? Yes. Walk. Walk to the corner and turn right, then walk five blocks. I'll, yes, five blocks. It's across the street. Very good, Simona Duque. Turn on right. Very good from Begachi. It's very good. Uh, so, very good. Th that's the answer. So, they say, thanks. No problem. Uh, many people say no problem, or many people say, uh, you're welcome, or many people say, no worries, no worries. In Australia, people say, no worries, no worries, when I ask for additional information. Uh, very good. Now, next one, the next, the last one. Excuse me, there is a good concert at now, but I, I don't know, I don't know the way to get there. Can you help me? There is a good concert at Ustedes miren allá las opciones que tenemos. Aura María, Teatro Metropolitano. Very good, Teatro Metropolitano. Entonces, esto está entre comillas porque recuerden, yo les había dicho que cuando utilizamos una palabra directamente a otro idioma, eh, uno puede decir Metropolitan Theater, but this is a proper name. It's better to say the name in, in, like, in, the, original, in the original language. So... Teatro Metropolitano, Simona Duque, Víctor Gómez. Very good. Teatro Metropolitano. Of course, walk three blocks to Estacional Pujarra, then turn right and walk two blocks to the Metro, the, the Metro Plus, Plus Station, or Metro Plus. Plus Station, Plus, it would be like in English, or Plus Station, like in Spanish. Uh, so, what would be the answer there? What would be the answer? Cross Ferrocarril Avenue. Very good. Cross Ferrocarril Avenue. Very good, Simona Duque. Cross. Cross. And this is, now this is a verb, cross. Atraviese la, la, la avenida Ferrocarril. Very good. Cross. Thanks. It's a pleasure. So, cross Ferrocarril uh, Avenue. Ferrocarril Avenue. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Very good, hey, very good, Simona Duque, Begachi, people on, all the people who did it in, in, in the classroom and all the people who attend this class of Lyme, que lo hacen también allá, muy bien. Uh, so, now we are going to continue. Uh, here we have the answers, those are the correct answers, but we already did it. So, before going, awesome, very good. Now, before explaining this actividad guiada, Les voy a mostrar rápidamente unos trabajos que me enviaron desde una institución que nos ve en, en forma offline y el profesor me contó en estos días que yo lo saludé, pues que se llenaron de mucha felicidad. Y a mí se paran, le me ponían los pelos de punta, como dicen por ahí, pues me, me, me gusta que... Entonces un saludo nuevamente muy especial para ellos, la institución educativa Emiliano García y el profesor Gabriel Antonio. Este es, entonces voy a mostrar rápidamente, eh, el primero, it's an ecological present, they did it together, and we are going to show it really fast because of the time, and here they start with a bag, and they did it some arm holes outside, they, they did it like in group, in a group, so this is, it was the, the, the ecological present, 
Uh, so they have here all the instructions. And finally, they have, they, they cut the arm holes. So the, this part of the, let me continue. Oh my God, this is not working now. Ah, uh, yeah. Now the neckline part, now they were cutting the neckline with the back. And finally, the cheapest rain dress is ready to wear, to be wear. Very good. El, el vestido más barato o más económico para la lluvia está lista para usarlo. And here the girl is wearing them. This is, it was done by Maria Camila Sorlano Cardona, Carlos Andrés Gómez, Camilo Bustamante, la institución educativa Emiliano García from Girardot, Antioquia. So, congratulations and thank you very much for showing us this. Additionally, yeah, for this school, recuerden, oh, Puerto Triunfo, hello. Don't worry, I know during those days, uh, we as teachers and in the schools, there are many different activities. But the most important thing is now you are connected. Y también la invitación es cuando, por ejemplo, ya en estos días that you are about going on vacation, is that some students can attend the class from their houses to finish this course because we are going to finish next week. So, uh, now I have uh, two more, the first one, two more works about different institutions. We have this first one. I am short, my face is round, my hair is dark, and my eyes are brown. My phone number is 320-568-0113. I live with my father, my mother, and my grandfather. In a normal day, I go to school, I eat lunch, I do homework, I read a book, and sleep. Thank you very much to this girl. Now we have... Tienen hambre. Espero que no tengan hambre allá porque this video is about the recipe, Three about, pizza, you know... Bring the following ingredients. Beans. A soup is made. Avocado is divided in the portion and a little salt is added. Sauces is cooked in fry and fry. Rice is cooked with a little salt, water and oil. Ground beef, skis, onion and chopper. Tomatoes. Is lizard free and fry. Arips, the rose. Pork, green, and salt and free. Egg. Crack is fry and a little salt is added. And add the pie tray. Good night. That's amazing. I am hungry. Now I am hungry. Now, in a moment, I am going to look for something to eat, really. So, uh, thank you very much again to this institution, to this school. Un abrazo muy grande para cada uno de ellos. Eh, recuerden que si alguna de las otras instituciones me pueden mandar uno o dos trabajos de pronto eh, con tiempo para poderlos mostrar, eh, lo podemos hacer. Now, here, I'm starving as well, right? Now, I'm going to explain, voy a explicar ya la actividad guiada del día de hoy. This is, let's go to the ice cream shop. Practicar las formas de dar direcciones en inglés. Instructions. Use a map of your hometown. Si no tienen un mapa por ahí, pueden dibujarlo rápidamente. No tienen que ser lo más bonito. Enseguida vamos a ver algunos examples. Um, you are going to create five co different conversations about the things that you like to do the most. Entonces, aquí ya tenemos algo de las actividades previas que las cosas que ustedes pueden hacer en sus pueblos. Si todavía las tienen o en sus lugares, en sus ciudades, si todavía las tienen, pueden utilizar esas mismas actividades y lo que vamos a hacer es describe the way to get to the places where you do these activities. 
trata de describir cómo llegar a los lugares donde se pueden hacer estas actividades. Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, en el, en el parque central, cómo llegar hasta el parque central, ¿cierto? Desde una posición neutral, cómo llegar hasta la montaña, cómo llegar hasta la estatua, cómo llegar hasta el, el river, cómo llegar hasta al lake, un lago que tengan allá, ¿cierto? Entonces, cómo llegar desde diferentes lugares. Eh, for example, here. Let's go to the ice cream shop. What do you like to do in your town? Now we already have you those answers, so, so we can use them to do this activity. Where do you do these activities? How can you get to these places? Entonces aquí tenemos más o menos un mapita y entonces, por ejemplo, eh, digamos que tú estás acá, entonces necesitas llegar al banco, to the bank, here. So you say, go straight one, two, three blocks, And when you get to the main square or main plaza central, then turn right, walk one block, then turn, no, excuse me, turn left, then turn right, and it's on your right, for example. Uh, or if you, want, if you want to go to this lake, and so what do you have to do? Entonces ahí, go straight three blocks, then turn left, Go ahead one block, then turn left again, and go ahead or go straight one block, and there, in your right, on your right, you are going to find the lake. Entonces, ¿cómo llegar hasta esto? Utilizando locations and directions. Here we have more examples. Uh, here, more examples. We don't have more examples. We have the extra map. So, para repetir, entonces, ¿qué tienen que hacer? Utilizando un mapita, incluso lo pueden dibujar, o te, si ya lo tienen allá, pueden fotocopiar uno, van a decir cómo llegar a cinco lugares. And here the most important thing is how to do, how to get to those places. ¿Y qué se puede hacer en esos lugares? ¿Cierto? Entonces, todo esto les va a ir sirviendo para el video final de la actividad de creación que deben hacer en esta unidad, que lo explicamos hace días, incluso lo pueden encontrar en aula virtual. Okay, see you next time. It has been really a ple it has been a pleasure to be here with you. Un abrazo para todos, hugs and kisses, and I hope that you can enjoy this activity. Remember that if you need extra or additional information, I'm going to be here and I can give you like extra information by the chat. Un abrazo muy grande para todos, para mis colegas, para cada uno de los estudiantes. Muchas gracias por ese gran esfuerzo. Ya casi vamos a terminar y vamos a terminar muy bien. Listo, mis muchachos y mis profes. Bye, bye. See you next time. Have a good day. Enjoy this activity.